Well, when are you going to start dating? You're dating? Well, when are they going to pop the question? You're engaged? Well, when are you going to get married? You're married? Well, when are you going to start having kids? You had a kid? Well, when are you going to have another one? Hi guys, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, if this is your first time worshipping with us, please hit the subscribe button and join the family. That's how we do it here, okay? Don't be a stranger and join the family. So thank you. Thank you guys for coming. And if you like this video, please click the like button and let's enjoy the ride. So you guys, this particular video, eh, I won't say like it excites me, but in one way it did because it actually, you know, made me feel a bit of relief. Yeah. And I'm going to be, you know, saying a lot, a whole lot of stuff in this video. So first of all, let me ask you, ask you guys this. I don't know if you've ever thought of it, but it comes. I've, 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 I've at some point thought of it. To be very honest. So here it goes. If you are given the option or chance to choose between male or female, which would you willingly, lovingly, genuinely, all-heartedly choose, and why? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, start typing. P.S. It is not to say that men don't have their struggles, but I'm a woman and so I'm focusing on woman topic as, as at now. And then our struggles are different, you know, we struggle differently. So fully known that both parties have their struggles, I'm putting it out to you. All crews, you guys, don't take it seriously, okay? Just let me know what you are, what you think. Let me know your opinion. Having putting in mind the struggles of both parties, which would you want to go for if you are, you know, placed with the choice? to say oh i want to choose this or i want to choose that so if you'll be choosing from your own free will let me know the one you go for let me know the one you go with i will tell you more at the end of this video there are two things that kind of like excite me like just makes me want to you know say something want to talk want to express myself two themes in this life first of all the female gender let me say like the woman the femininity secondly is relationship those are two things that like if you just want me to talk, if you want me to say something, just talk up around those two topics. Yes. So I've had this content idea about the woman for a while now. And I think this is just the perfect time to put it all out. So if you know me well, you know how emotional I get when it comes to talking about women. Or for the lack of better word, broken when it comes to talking about my gender. To be honest with you, I used to like wish I was a man at some point. Okay, this is like TMI, TMI, but I really don't care. <laughs> but no lies. Now, it is not to say that I don't appreciate my femininity. Of course I do. I mean, actually, I don't have a choice. But really, let me ask you guys a question. Like, I've had my own thoughts in the flesh. In fact, some people be like, are you a feminist? Call it whatever you can. But one thing I stand for is justice for all. Like, fairness for everybody, regardless of your gender. But there's one thing I usually say which is, of course, all humans are unsafe in this world. We are together in this life, right? As much as men are not safe, women are not also safe. But women are less safe. I should say that like a lot. Like, women are less safe for obvious reasons. I will explain. Stick with me. So recently, Simi, a popular Nigerian singer, started this challenge. You would have, you should know why. If you don't know Simi, ah, ah. are you seeing me like this? <laughs> so she, um, she sang Duduke. Didike, Didike, so yeah, the popular Nigeria singer. So she started with nobody like woman challenge, and it's since then become a trend. The challenge is aimed at encouraging women to share their struggles, and it has also gotten a lot of women out of their shell to share ugly and degrading words that have been thrown at them in the past or in recent times by many people, including fellow women. Emphasis on that. I'm even coming back to that for different reasons. A lot of people, especially female celebrities, have recounted some harsh words told to them by others. So I firstly saw it on Kiki's um, page and Adesua, and I instantly, instantly re resonated with it. Before I got to know that, oh, it's actually a thing. The challenge also involves women sharing black and white pictures and photos with painful words written on it. I kind of see this as like a peaceful protest or a revolution, just the way it has always been, just the way. It was 
it was in the times of the feminist emergence that that is the true essence of support awareness and a call to order i mean somebody actually rose up for women to stop the killing of twins somebody spoke up for women to make other women be able to speak up today so i spoke with my mom some days ago and, and you know she was telling me about a program in her home church where a particular woman ministered um, on marriage and you know relationship and she said she enjoyed it and so she was giving me some you know ex excerpts excerpts from the program and she was like all these things were not there during their time like nobody talked about this nobody came out to talk about it you know it wasn't like flying around the way it is right now in our generation we see it on social media we see it everywhere around us people coming out organizing relationship or marriage seminar counseling session and all and i'm like i was like see it's not because of anything it's basically because less like women are not really allowed to you know come out and speak it's all about oh it's a man's word man should be the man should do the talking so it was hardly would you see a woman doing the talking then back then compared to now some women fought that place you know and she also nailed a point she was like actually get it like what you don't even have you can't give out which is valid it's not this is not a shade but majority of men are not talkers women are the talkers like they are more communicators of course there are men that do communicate but personally in my opinion i feel like a lot of men you know quite like like basically saying that we are more communicators and talkers yeah so it's easier to express especially when you have the knowledge it's easier to give it out share it put people together let them learn also you learn grow before now men do more of the talking but now we see a lot of women coming out you know be themselves to be who they really are and you know exhibit the purpose of god for their life without so much struggles even though they are rare. someone also spoke up to make women relevant as of today all these to me are true feminism the essence of your existence before the woke one was birth stories for another video it's obvious how a whole lot of us, you know, could relate and resonate with this movement in one way or the other. Except you are not feminine. The challenge focuses on the ugly ways women have been presented and tagged over the years, which should be a concern or which is actually a major concern. It's funny how society expects women to take in all these awful words and expect them to keep quiet on a daily basis, like daily dosage. We hope for a generation of true change who do not accept our kindness in any form. I think it's also an awareness of an upcoming song by Simi titled Woman. And I love this agenda. As it addresses least talk about topic in the society. I also love the part where some husbands, you know, supported their wives in the movement. Like it's so sad to see and experience all that a woman faced or has encountered in the society because of the stereotype she's a woman. The constant battle to live and survive through each day without an iota of backlash or, you know, is so exhausting. I see had a very pissing conversation with a man as of yesterday and I couldn't just go on. I'm just like, what's the use? Like, what's the essence? You know, the confidence that hooses how the confidence he exhibits to which he justifies a man cheating. <laughs> as opposed to his disdain and disgust at the sound of what if a woman does the same? <laughs> It's nothing to write home about. From the birth of the girl child comes the storms of life. She has to fight. Oh, why does it have to be a girl? The boy does better. The boy will do better. She grows up to molestation, child abuse in whatever form, rape, harassment, or any minute form of force abuse upon puberty. I've been an adolescent. Let's not talk about the changes and, and pain that comes with the growth process as regards, you know, poverty and, you know, becoming a woman, especially with the compulsion of anti-flu. flows existence now it's pathetic enough and unarguably true that we are you know physically weaker than the men which already makes us you know unique and different and kind of seem to me like a prey already you know like you know it's like when you have a jungle and the lion is you know most powerful or most strong and then we have other lesser strong already you know as a tool already as a strength already now it now depends on how he chooses to use it because i mean 
It's something that you can't even argue. An average man is stronger than an average woman normally. Let them just let the man just grab you like this. You feel it compared to when a woman holds the man. You get. And you know, it seems like a prey in the hands of some, you know, wicked, uncultured, and ignorant men. Zero percent God fearing. As a woman, you know, we always have to do extra, more careful, more this to protect ourselves. Sometimes ago, having a pepper spray as part of, part of your bag necessity was you know a thing is that the kind of life we want to birth our daughters is that this is that the kind of you know settings we want them raised i once told an old friend of mine like that i don't know if it's like part of the course neo abi i don't know or what not because what a woman go through in life sometimes only her can understand in fact sometimes she can't she doesn't even understand sometimes it's only god that understands basically you know, psychologically, emotionally, financial, health-wise, society pressure, pressure struggles, and you know, while I know so much already, problems here and there. They say men and women are equal, but they are different. They are both humans, but differently wired and you know, coupled up. Each gender should be treated based on the peculiarity of their differences. We should be treated according to our unique differences. Let's not, you know, let's not even talk about the condemnation, one-sided treatment, or correction. It's appalling. The man cheats is the woman that is the victim that becomes victimized. Imagine, oh, why did she do this? Oh, why did she travel out of the house? Oh, distance, you know, when the, the distance she's supposed to do this? Oh, why did she not do this? Why did she do this? She didn't get it right. She didn't pray enough and all that BS. And if she cheat, oh my God, everyone let loose. Go be, I mean, I ain't let loose. <laughs> Everyone should be treated fairly based on the given circumstance. Treat everyone's mess up accordingly and leave their gender biasness. But then it's even more tragic that fellow women, same gender, same VJJ, oh, okay, maybe they are different sizes, I mean, whatever. <laughs> even though, even though, you know, they decide to oppress, shame, victimize, and traumatize their fellow women. Isn't that meant like serious one? It's safe to say sometimes women are women's problem. Women are the problem of women in some ways. You see all these things flying around. Oh, you finished school. You haven't gotten a job. Eh? So you want to be in your husband's house and be depending on him. Not to be doing housewife. As if housewife is not a full-time job on itself, especially when kids are involved. Oh, now you have a job. Eh? Le, congrats, Le. So when are we expecting the man? Really? When is the husband come? Your time they go. Ah, single at this, single at that. Oh, congratulations on your wedding ceremony. It's been like three months, four months, oh, a year, three years, four years. Oh my God, five years. And you know, where's our baby? That you've gotten married and you never get belly. Wow. But for your husband though, so that you'll not be looking outside. Oh, so you give back through CS. Ah, that's not Hebrew enough. Ah uh ah. -uh. When are we expecting another child? Ah uh ah. -uh. A girl again. Uh, it is well low. Ah but when did you give back to one that you're already giving back to others? <sighs> you want to become baby producing machine. Come, not only you born, that you when you come fast like this. I expected you to have a snap back already. Ah, uh, hurry up and put yourself together. So that your husband so that they will not snatch your husband. Like say the man a pull you back. And it goes on and on like that forever. Oh God of God, when? <laughs> when is this God going to stop? Like, see, when this menace really needs to stop. And it all begins with me, it all begins with you. And then the whole Nigeria, Africa to the world. Learn to MYB. Mind your business. It won't choke you. You see, majority of this gossip are all done by females most times. Eh, my gender. Now, in the midst of all this, you know, women supporting women and, you know, bringing change. People are still acting like Judas is carried. It is not to exclude some, you know, Ellen should put in men that we have. But I feel the major strength of the male gender lies lies in their physical strength. So obviously that one is more accessible to them, you know. So it comes in form of abuse, you know, domestic violence and all the and all those stuff so that's the power that makes them oppressed the more most times please if you're a man or woman that belongs to any of this evil god forsaken <laughs> category as far as you are born of a woman and not three please put a stop to it about symbol repent the kingdom of the lord is at hand okay and god i take back now peace remember be the change you want to see bye for now so mine is i will choose female on one condition one condition no pain attached to any stage of my life i repeat any and every stage i would like i should experience pain 
you know what I mean? Uh -huh. On that condition. Uh -uh, why not if not? <laughs> but hey, as one of my friends would say, pain is a gift. It's inevitable. Pain is life. Like it's to be lived and experienced. So on that note, I mean, it's, it's, I'm already a woman, so I, okay, that's it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel relieved, you know, sharing my thoughts on this. You don't want to know since when I've been carrying papers around the house. <laughs> With the topic the woman and it's like i've kind of been building some points on it right so this was just the best opportunity for me to you know let it let it out i titled it the topic the woman matters arising and now matters is arising matters have been arising is arising i just hope it's not going to be arising anymore <laughs> See, my husband said the whole house is filled with papers papers of my write-up that i should go and start a blog i mean at least if i can't always say everything i can always write them but then thank you simi and thank god for youtube i can freely document and share my thoughts Ha. So I saw one post recently. I, I just can't be the only one that could relate to this here. I'm sure a lot of people are on this table. It's not easy packing and you know just putting everything together to try to balance every every with one string or cord and hold these things together. Materials or the other. Wear this, wear that. I'm sure the first two things I unplug when I get to as a woman is the same as yours. <laughs> same as you watching. Funny enough, I don't really wear makeup, so that one is not even a like part of the thing that you already just want to. You know what I'm talking about. So let's not go there. But you know, lastly, I pray and hope that all of this is not just going to be a challenge and trend that comes and, and is going to pass with time without positive impact and change. I really hope it changes people. It makes people better. It strengthens some people. It helps them to find courage. Because see, let me tell you, there are a lot of things going on when it comes to the woman, sincerely and seriously. You know, I hope it makes us better and stronger. I hope it heals people, make them know that, you know, they are not alone. I hope it instills confidence into the less confident. And I hope it restores clarity and sense to some ignorant ones amongst us. Amen. So guys, I've come to the end of this video. Let me know all what you think. Let me know all your thoughts about the woman in the comment section. The good, the bad. If you want to encourage, if you want to inspire, if you want to share what you think. Let me know what you think about in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, I've had a lot of instances where well, at one point or the other, I was like, oh, she's a woman. Oh, because she's a woman. Or because you feel that you're a woman. And all that messy stuff. But thanks so much, guys, for watching. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let me know if you enjoyed this one. And I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Bye for now. <laughs>